What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using a Hisuian favorite. We got ourselves a Cleaver team for ranked regulation H. Now, when it comes to Cleaver, at least for myself, honestly, I didn't really know it learned Sheer Force as its ability. So we're using a Sheer Force Life Orb Cleaver today. So gonna be a lot of fun. But this thing is a bug and rock type Pokemon. Super dope. Two X hands with rock slide lunge close combat and protect so we got two big stab moves on top of that we got close combat a perfect coverage move for cleaver with that water terror type gonna be a lot of fun gonna be doing some big time damage with this pokemon ripping it up other pokemon on today's team features our support pokemon going to be murkrow murkrow's got the evo light with prankster as ability rock and foul plate tailwind sunny day and haze which is actually really good in regulation each so if any pokemon wants to set up be my guest my, my murkrow will stop that right in his tracks with this haze our final four Pokemon go out to Golden Go, Typhlosion, Rillaboom, and Dragonite. Now, Typhlosion with the choice specs pairs up with Murkrow because you can drop Sunny Day and then erupt. Golden Go is going to be good on its own because it's a big time special attacker. On top of that, it's got Nasty Plot. Then Rillaboom doing Rillaboom things and Dragonite with the choice ban. You guys have seen that plenty of times before. It does a ridiculous amount of damage. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing this Cleavor team. First match coming at you guys, and we are going up against a rain squad. A lot of rain squads in regulation age. They got Pelipper, they got Arch Ludon. On top of that, they got Trick Room Squad. They got Indeedee, Hatterene, Amoongus, and Gallade. Gotta watch out for Wide Guard Gallade, considering I am rocking out with Rock Slide Cleavor. Um, who should I lead here? Because for counting Trick Room, it's gonna definitely be tough. I mean, we probably want Murkrow somewhere on this team, just for like sunny days and foul plays. Could be good um and weather control but uh cleaver could actually come out here and be our lead it's not terrible we kind of need something to counter the uh the what's it called though arch loot on which i don't really know i definitely want to go golden go here because if they're going to set up trick room i could either just obviously go into a nasty plot or i could just go into a make it rain so either or is pretty good i could lead murkrow start flat, foul playing around but other than that i'd rather bring murkrow in the back end I think it's just a better Pokemon late game. Yeah, I am terrified of, uh, what's it called? I am terrified of, uh, Arch Loot on here. I really am. I'm gonna go Roll Boom, though. I am gonna go Roll Boom. What's the else one plays out here? Because, yeah, Arch Loot on is just a big time problem. I feel like it's just such a strong Pokemon. So maybe I'm kind of hoping we can set up some nasty spots to kind of deal with it that way. I mean, we got Murkrow in the back end. We got Robum in the back end for terrain control and weather control if we need it. We got Hazes. We got Tanwin set up. We got Foul Play. A lot of different options for us. But yeah, Archer Ludon is just such a bulky, big-time Pokemon. It's going to be tough to get off the field. It's going to be annoying. Let's see who they end up leading. It is going to be Indeedee and Gallade. Now, they might just go into a wide guard here. Which kind of sucks because I really want to go into a Make It Rain and a Rock Slide. So... Chances are they go for a wide guard. I could just go for a Shadow Ball and kind of just knock this thing out. But I think going for a Nasty Pot is probably better for us. So I'm going to go Nasty Pot here. And I am going to go for a Lunge. And see how much damage we can do over here. They get off Trick Room. They get off Trick Room. No big deal. We are going to see a Terra type pop out here. Most likely from the Glade. And yeah, it is going to be Glade. So Glade's going to go into a lovely little Dark type. That is scary. That means Golden Go might go bye bye. <laughs> that means Golden Go might go bye bye here. Let's see. Follow me comes out here. You going for Trick Room? I would hope Trick Room's to play. Let's see. Night Slash. Yep. Bye bye, Golden Go. See you later. Night Slash Glade. Just dumping all my Golden Go. So. I, I guess that's how, how we're going. At least no Trick Room. I mean, I get off this Lunge, which is pretty good. I was kind of predicting Trick Room more so than anything. And Lunge is picking up the KO. Sheer Force, Life Orb, and a crit. Cleaver doing some damage. Of course, you got Rocky Helmet doing damage to me. At first, I thought it was Life Orb. I was like, wait a minute. We're Sheer Force. So, yes, it's Dark type on the field. I have Murkrow. I have Rillaboom. Um, now, it's not a bad turn for Rillaboom because I can change up terrain. I can fake out. I can start setting Rock Slides if I want to. And we're really hoping they do not have Pelipper and Arch Loot on. Just be, just be terrible for us. And there's Arch Loot on. Oh, man. Archer Ludon's tough. I don't know how we're going to deal with this thing. Because we don't want to fake it out because then stamina gets boosted. Um, We don't really have much to do. I guess we go fake out here and we go close combat. Sheer Force Life Orb. Yeah, I, I need to do damage to this thing. I need to do damage. He's going to end up withdrawing. He's going to go into the rain. 
Oh, we were faking out slot out too. Can I get a crit now? <laughs> I would love a crit here. Can I get a crit now? He's gonna take out my cleaver. He's so taking out my cleaver. So fake out's gonna pop here, do about negative six, but take off focus ash there. Close combat's gonna launch and do. Oh, that's good damage. That's good damage, cleaver. That's good damage. We needed that damage. So chance our cleaver dies here to electro shot, but that's really good damage. That's really good damage. Electro shot is gonna launch here. And yeah, Cleaver's gonna die out because special attack is, or special defense is dropped. But that damage, that was worth, that was big time damage. They still have Gallade late, late game. We have Murkrow. I can change up weather, which is actually really good for us. Or I can go into a Tailwind. I got options here. I gotta watch out for Hurricane. I definitely gotta watch out for Hurricane. Honestly, what I'm thinking here is, I still have Terra. I still have Terra, but I want to Woodhammer down this Pelipper slot. I really do. I could just change up Weather and say he's going for another Electro Shot, but I really want a Tailwind. I really want a Tailwind. I could Haze. Um, I still have Terra, though, which could be really good for us. Are I going to Fire Terra? Ah, man, what do I do here? What do I do here? I think I'm just going to Tailwind Woodhammer this Pelper slot down. And I'm going to go into Ghost Terror. I need to survive this. I need to survive this Electro Shot. I need to survive this Electro Shot. We're going into Ghost Terror. So that's what I'm hoping here. I'm hoping we can just Tailwind outspeed the Pelper, take it out in one shot, then have speed take out the Arch Ludi next turn. But we have to survive both these shots. So this is really the turn that really... Turns the tides. It's really turn the tides here. So I go into a nice, lovely ghost tower. Don't feel like taking super effective damage this electro shot. And Tailwind set up. And Woodhammer should pick up the KO in this grassy terrain. Bye bye, Pelipper. Cool. So Pelipper is gone. Most likely, Arch Luna doesn't have protect, which is good. And you should, should be going for another electro shot. Yep, there it is. Okay. So there's the electro shot. I was going to set up the sunny day, but I wasn't sure if Rillaboom was outspeeding Pelipper. And I really didn't want to take that risk. Of them getting off a tailwind or a uh, landing a hurricane. But Electro Shot flies and we do end up eating it. So the Terra was money. That plan was perfect. So we got speed up here. I could switch into Sunny Day. I could take out Arch Ludon here. I should have speed all day. And my Woodhammer should KO Arch Ludon. So I'm actually just going to Woodhammer down this Arch Ludon. And from here, how do I play it after that? We should be fine. I should just be able to go Woodhammer KO. And do I haste this or no? I should just foul play. Chunk up a little bit of damage in this slot. Because I have full faith in this wood hammer. Even though it's not very effective to still pick up the KO. It's, what is it? Base like 120 stab in the terrain. The damage is just absurd. Damage is just absurd. And what do you, what do you, plus one on defense? I think we should be fine here. Maybe I should have hazed. Maybe I should haste. But I have full faith in this wood hammer doing it. Bro, that just hit like a paper towel. That just hit like an absolute paper towel. I understand it's not very effective. But come on now. Come on now. I understand it's not very effective. But come on now. I understand. I, guys, I understand it's not very effective. But come on now. This thing even stamina? Wait a minute, let me see this thing's stats. Is this thing even stamina? It better be. It is, okay, so it's plus two. Come on now. I can't be the only one that expected to do that much damage. But from here, we're sitting in a real tough position where, I mean, we kind of die out both sides. Let's see how much damage foul play would have done. Mercury's gonna send it. That's not even doing enough. Wow, so the combination of wood hammer and foul play wouldn't even have KO'd this thing. Wow, that hurts. Definitely hurts. We were looking pretty good. I thought we were going to be able to KO the Arch Ludon. We ended up not. And like I said in the beginning, Arch Ludon was going to be a problem. So we start things off 0-1. So guys, first match didn't go as planned. Now we're hopping into our second match and we're going up against a Charizard squad with Arch Ludon. Arch Ludon is just a big time problem. But I feel like we should be pretty good here with Cleaver, with uh, Murkrow. I feel like we should definitely be able to thrive out. So I'm going to go Cleaver here. Honestly, I end up, I might end up not even bringing Cleaver. Well, no, I want to bring Cleaver, but not for the lead. I think we should go Murkrow and Typhlosion. I feel like the Sunny Day combo 
could really help us out with the eruption and choice spec. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna bring Cleavor, and then last but not least, um, probably Dragonite. Resist some fire moves. Got the choice bank. Can do big time damage up against Arch Ludon if we need it because last match just wasn't it. We didn't really have anybody do big time damage besides Cleaver, and once he died, I figured Woodhammer would get the job done, but obviously it didn't. Obviously it didn't. So let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. So we're sitting 0 1, one loss, zero wins. I'd love to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. They're going to send out Charizard and Worm Scott. So, I mean, Eruption can do a ridiculous amount of damage. I could set up Tailwind. Um, what could they do? It'd be hard with like Air Slash Solar Power. But I might just go into a Tailwind and pop Eruption. Could go Fire Terror, but no, we're just going to stay Normal Terror. And you know, we're going to go into Heat Wave instead. We're going to go Heat Wave instead. Because there is a chance that you just outspeed me after Tailwind, yeah. And we can go from there. I, actually, Typhlosion is pretty fast. I'm kind of hoping we just outspeed it. That'd be awesome. We go Tailwind for Tailwind. He's going to end up going for a Weather Ball, which... No Sun. Did you think I was setting up the Sun? Because I thought you were going to set up the Sun. Heat Wave's going to launch. I'm still at full HP here, which is great. Wimscott goes down to 1. And someone's setting the Sun here. Someone is setting the Sun here. No doubt in my mind. So the sun is going to get set. And I'm just going to foul play down the Charizard and drop a Heat Wave. Give me no reason not to. You're going to set the sun. If you don't, that's fine. I mean, I'm still doing damage. And I think there's a chance I can KO Charizard with foul play and, and Heat Wave. I mean, foul play's not going to do too much damage because he is special attacking. But I still like it. So there's the sunny day. Murkrow might not survive this weather ball. And that's fine if you KO him. You leave my Typhlosion on the field. And so Murkrow drops out. That's that's no big deal. That's no big deal at all. Not a big deal at all. Now I'm able to drop Heat Wave. Someone's dodging. Who's dodging it? Who's dodging it? Wimscott dodges it. Okay, I'm not too worried about Wimscott. Solar Power is going to bring them both down to one. So next turn, Charizard will die out to Solar Power. Um, I could honestly just go into E Speed. Save my Cleavor. Or I could just protect and have Solar Power KO. I think I'd rather just protect and have solar power KO. Because he's looking at this Pokemon like, hey, maybe I can get off a nice shot onto it. I just protect and let solar power do the job. I'm really cool with that. So I'll go protect here. And I'll just go heat wave. So solar power will KO Charizard if I miss it or hit it. I don't gotta worry about it. But getting rid of Wimscott could be pretty big for us. Wimscott. Hi there, Wimscott. Look at the little smile that thing's got. So Charizard looking dope as ever. I love Charizard. Especially shiny Charizard in this game. It just looks so cool. Moonblast is going to launch. It's going to do minimal damage. Charizard, go for a Weather Ball into my Cleaver slot. Of course, my special attack drops. And he's going to go for a Heat Wave here. Dodge it. Dodge it. No, we don't dodge it. And that does ridiculous amount of damage. All right, cool. Heat Wave's going to hit. We pick up a double KO. So now might be a good turn for us to just swap out our Typhlosion. Depending on the speed factors here. Because we're both set up Tailwind. Um... I can land like a rock slide with Cleaver. We could be sitting in a really good position. I still have Terra. My special attacks dropped. I still have big boy choice band Dragonite in the back end, which is great. Which is real good. And they're going to end up going into King Gambit, which we do outspeed. Which will probably Terrasilize, right? We outspeed that. And do we outspeed that? That's not good because of Intimidate. Actually, it's not Intimidate. Do we outspeed that? That's the real question. You're 150. Oh, that's close, man. That's real close. That's real close. I do have Water Tower, which is actually pretty good for us, and I could go for a Rock Slide. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Water Tower, Rock Slide, just go for a Heat Wave here. Let's do it. Are oh, you going to Sucker Punch me? I should have swapped. I should have swapped in Dragonite. I should have swapped into Dragonite. I should have swapped in Dragonite. Totally forgot about the, the ye old Sucker Punch first turn priority there. I thought of it on the Arcanine with like East Speed, but like suck. I didn't think of Sucker Punch. And there it is. Man, did not think of Sucker Punch. That would have been a good swap for us. That would have been a great swap for us. So my type fusion ends up dropping out here. We got a Water Terror going. And Rock Slide is going to miss both of them? Come on now. Come on, now I gotta take this head smash. Honestly, Rock Slide probably would have KO'd that Arcanine. 
Oh my lord, dude. Rock Slide probably would have came with that Arcanine. Stab, super effective. Life Orb, Sheer Force. Yeah, you were dead. You were dead. Now, now I gotta play this game. 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 This is terrible. This is terrible. I mean, Stomping Tantrum's is gonna come out here. It's gonna one shot you. And I'm probably gonna lose this match. Thanks, RNG. Lovely. Lovely. I, feel, I felt like we played this one actually pretty good. I just, you know, missed one heat wave already. Missed a rock slide, and they're probably thrashalizing King Gambit. Is, if this is flying, I'm shrewd. Please don't be flying. It's gonna be dark. Okay. A little bit dark typing, but now Kathal Cleave's gonna do a ridiculous amount of damage. And I'm not super effective with Stompy Tantrum anymore, so yeah, this one's over. Head smash launching. I'm dead. Yep, super effective. Night night. Thanks for playing. Man, I hate RNG. Rock slide missing. We end up losing match number two. Now we're sitting 0 2. So, guys, it looks like we're going up against Archaludon yet again. We're sitting 0 2. I don't know what to tell you guys. Rough day for me. Rough day for me. We've been having a bunch of winning records, except for today. I feel like we definitely should have won that last one. If Rock Slide lands, it would have been GG. Thanks for playing. But they got Archaludon again, which we don't want to deal with. Archaludon's just such a good Pokemon, but I'm going to be bringing in Dragonite and Cleaver to kind of deal with that. So for our lead, I mean, we could go Typhlosion and Murkrow, which actually could be good for us. And I think that is going to be my play. I know they got a lot of water types. I, I understand that. But I think the combination of these two could really get work done. So I'm going to do that. Those two go into Cleaver, go into Dragonite, and look to win this match. Because, you know, we're not going to go 0-3. We never go 0-3. I'm not allowed to go 0-3. We're 0-2 right now. Cannot go 0-3 in the video. It's one of my rules on channel. If we go 0-3, I have to delete the channel. Or actually, it's not I have to delete the channel. It's I have to give it away to one of you guys. So we're not going 0-3. I'm not losing this one. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Let's dial in. But it kind of sucks because I... I feel like I should have won that last match. Rock Slide was totally ripping up into that Arcanine. Like that Sheer Force Life Orb damage is just ridiculous. It really is. Especially being stab and super effective. Just a lot of damage. And Cleaver has a decent attack stat. So yeah. Arcanine was definitely dead to that. We would have been sitting in a chill position with our boy. Uh, what is it? With Dragonite in the back end. And everything would have been fine. But he ends up going into Archaludon and Indeedee. Which is fine for me. I mean. This seems like a simple. Sunny day. Terrasalization Eruption. You got the power herb. I see you got the power herb. Well, this seems really fine for us to just go into this fire terror eruption and sunny day. Because we already outspeed, which is good. We already outspeed, so I can get the sun cooking. If you want to swap into Pelper, be my guest. Because then they just swap into Pelper. We change up the weather. We already know what items they have. He's got the power herb on Archer Ludon. And we'll see what, what the plan is here. So Terra comes out here for me. Big time fire damage coming at you. I'm not trying to deal with Arch that, so I have to get rid of this thing. I think this will definitely KO the Ndidi. Arch a bit more bulkier. Might be Assault Vested. We're going to see a Terra type come out from him. Now, what is this? Please don't be Water Terror on Arch Luna. What you got here? Electric. Okay, so Electro Shot's looking to fly. Looking to fly. Got the power herb. Let's see what Indeedee wants to do. Follow me. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. That really does absolutely nothing. So I come out here. I say, hey, yo, let's set the sun. Let's get the sun cooking. Sun is out and about. We got fire terror here. We got twist specs. And now we're erupting? Come on. Take out this Archaludon. I don't feel like dealing with it. I don't feel like dealing with it. Thank you. See you later, Archaludon. Like I said, we're not losing this match. We simply are not losing this match. So we pick up the KO there. Or actually the double KO. And... I think we could just eruption the victory here, right? I think we could just erupt the victory. Actually, sounds really nice for us. Sounds really nice for us. Pelper comes out here. We're just gonna set the sun again. Or I could Tailwind. We're gonna set the sun again. And Overquill is gonna come out here. Overquill is pretty fast. We're setting the sun again because you are Swiftsome, aren't you, Overquill? Yeah, we, we will not allow that. So I'm gonna go eruption again. I am gonna go sunny day. We're just gonna take away this weather. We brought the big guns here. Brought the big guns with Typhlosion in the sun. We still have Cleaver in the back end. Um, I think this one might end in a sweep. Not too sure, depending on who outspeeds. And I think Typhlosion will outspeed and just still do a huge chunk of damage here in the sun. So same two moves. We're going Sunny Day into Eruption. And this is still going to do a huge chunk of damage. I wouldn't be surprised if it KOs any of them. 
Let's see. Yeah, Pelper going over cool down to Sash. Just an insane amount of damage. So we're gonna pick up a sweep here in match number three. A little bit of bounce back battle. Not to show off Cleaver in match number one, match number two. End up losing both matches, which really sucks. And honestly, we're getting the perfect sweep. We are getting the perfect sweep, unless you have first turn priority. If you guys do not know, a sweep is when you don't lose a Pokemon, but a perfect sweep is when you don't lose any HP on a Pokemon. Perfect sweep time? Sounds really good. We're going to play it safe. We're going to go Tailwind into Eruption, and they just cancel match. So a perfect sweep in match number three. We go one and two for today's video. So guys, wish we could have got you guys a winning record, but we'll take one and two all day. A little losing record, and I think it's our first one of Regulation H, which kind of sucks considering I still feel as we would have won that match number two if my boy Cleaver landed that rock slide would have been some big time damage would have picked up chaos would have had a flinch chance as well we would have been all over the place so really upset at cleaver today really upset we definitely should have had its other move what's his other move i totally forget but it, it's like stone axe that's what it is it's stone axe and it's 100 percent accurate and it would have just dumped on arcanine so wish we would have had that i definitely do but still love this team so much his suing time Floyd and Merc are going to be a great combo in regulation h dragonite with the choice band roll boom golden go all those pokemon part of the meta really can't go wrong with it but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos good live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positive today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody